work for a couple days because Miss Frankie Bo, who is not relaxing like she's supposed to be, dogs, oy vey. Well, she had her spay, like literally yesterday. So I'm home with her, making sure these two are chill and that everything's healing nicely. So I thought before I went and annoyed dad in the garage for the evening, I would prep some sausage rolls because I don't think he's ever had a sausage roll and I've never had like a real sausage roll except for those like little appetizer things. Not that these are going to be real sausage rolls. Yes, Muck, I know, Lord Muck, he will correct my sausage roll um, expenditure. That was not the right word that I wanted to use. However, I'm gonna make, I guess, my version of sausage rolls that I've never made before and I'm not gonna use a recipe. So let's see how it goes. Oh, baby. All right, so I've already got some ground sausage that's been seasoned with fennel, but I'm going to add all my fresh herbs from my arrow garden. As you can see, I have chopped chopped. So I'm gonna do some basil, parsley, and um, chives. And then I will add some of my favorite, as you all know, if you've been here before, if I can find it. Where is it? Oh no, oh no, what? Where's my, where? Where is the? Oh no, we might be, we might have a crisis. Oh no, 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 I found it, I found it. My favorite, <laughs> country garlic seasoning. So we'll add all those to our sausages and cooks. Here's a secret, by the way, if you have like kind of loosish herbs and you want to chop them all up quickly and they're kind of annoying, wrap them in a leafed herb if you've got one and then choppity chop. Nice and easy. All right, so my sausage is cooked. I'm going to add my herbs while the oven is now off because I don't want them to overcook. I just want them to amalgamate. Amalgam Man, I can't use words. Incorporate, that's a better word. And then I am going to do something that might be controversial. I don't know, but I've decided I'm going to do it anyways. So we'll see how that turns out. Oh, that's this weird pigtail. It just like won't. Whatever. <laughs> all right. So I have switched shirts because my other shirt, the sleeves were all dangly and made it very difficult to cook. Anyways, so I've let my sausage cool. I've got my puff pastry thawed, and now for the possible blasphemy or sacrilegious activity, I'm going to take this sausage and put it in this food processor to puree it. I don't know if that's the correct thing to do or not, but I'm just gonna do it. Executive decision. Here we go. Oh! I don't have the blade. <laughs> Just little bits, and um, I guess let's roll it some uh, puff pastry, shall we? All right, two rolls done, and I'll show you uh, how I did them, I guess. That's okay, as long as you're not stretched out on it. So I cut my pastry into three. I think I might have too much meat, so I'm gonna, I pulled out another poof. Uh, 
have the right amount. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's too much now. So putting your meat kind of off to the side closest to you for folding and try to maybe shape it into like a little, you know, a little sausage. And we're just pulling up and over. Try to keep all good stuff in and then we're going to meet in the middle here. Pinch it down so it sticks. And I'm opening the end so that there's air that's going through. Cut in half. There we have it. for the final igvashes. That one's already done. Oops, now it's done again. All right, so the sausage rolls are done. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the end folding <coughs> technique I used because they, well, they look a little not safe for work, I'm not gonna lie to you, but they do taste delicious. Here hair on it. Where? There's not a hair on it. What are you talking about? Oh, you'll live. <laughs> you like it? I'm texting Waylon. <laughs> Uncle Ken! Frankie, you're not supposed to jump, honey. No sausage rolls for you. None for you.